Robomaniacs! I hope you have all completed the basic setup of our robot till now. Welcome to the fourth episode of DIY Robotics by What's Your Hobby? We all must have used the Bluetooth technology many a times in our lives. So what actually is Bluetooth? Bluetooth is like a tunnel or a road that our digital files use to travel from one place to another. Example from one mobile to the other. And do you know where the name came from? That will be interesting. The second king of Denmark, King Herald Bluetooth was famous for uniting Scandinavia in the 10th century. This is how we got the name for Bluetooth just as we intend to unite PC and cellular industries with a short range wireless link. Coming back to the topic, there are different ways through which digital data can flow. For example, it can flow through pen drives, the internet, Bluetooth and many more. Bluetooth is defined as being a short range radio technology or a wireless technology aimed at simplifying communication among internet devices and between devices and the internet. It also aims to simplify data synchronization between internet devices and other computers. This is a HC05 Bluetooth module which is a simple to use Bluetooth serial port protocol module intended for the configuration of transparent serial wireless connections. It communicates through serial communications making it easy to connect with the controller or the PC. We'll connect this module to our Arduino board and with the help of some coding we can make our Bluetooth car run. So let's check out the process. After we plug in the cable, we have to choose the Arduino Uno. For that, we go to Tools and select Arduino Uno. And after that, we have to confirm the port. For that, we go to Tools and confirm the COM4 port. So then the setup will be complete. After scanning the QR code, the file which will be downloaded is an Arduino file. Let us click on it to open the file. This will open in the Arduino app. So we see that the file has opened to the Arduino app and it contains all the coding required to run the Bluetooth control car. But why not learn some coding for ourselves? Let me explain you the coding which is given here. So this Bluetooth 2,3 represents the 2 and 3 pinholes of the Arduino board. 2 stands for RX which is the receiving end and 3 stands for TX which is the transmission end. Next comes the pin mode of 10, 11, 12 and 13. So 10, 11, 12 and 13 are also the pin holes on the Arduino board and they are designated in with these numbers as well. So 10 stands for left motors will move forward. 11 stands for left motors will move reverse which means in the backward direction. 12 stands for the right motors 
will be moving forward and 13 stands for the right motors moving backward so with this let us make the combination of forward backward and sideways movement of the car so you can see t equals to f which is the in the forward direction in that case the 10 which is the left motors forward and 12 which is the right motors forward is high which means they will run and the reverse motor pins won't run as it is in low because the car will be moving in the forward direction now t equals to b signifies that the car will be moving backward in this case in contrary to the f we see that the 10 and the 12 are in low which means the forward movements will be stopped and the backward movements which is the 11 and 13 of both the motors will be on high which means they will function and move the car to the backward direction now t equals to l which means that now t equals to l means that the left motors will move and that will make the car move in the rightward direction to make the car move to the left hand side the right wheel has to move and for that the right forward which is the 12 has to be high only other pins will be at low which signifies that only the right wheel will move to the forward direction and which will move the entire car to the left direction similarly when the car is moving in the rightward direction the 10 should be high which means the left forward should be high which will make the entire car move to the right hand direction so this is the front back and the left and right hand sides movement of the car which is controlled by these codes and then it ends with stop which is t equals to s where all the keys will be at low so this ends the coding for the bluetooth controlled car we have quite a bit of knowledge on coding now now it's time to verify the code so we click on verify and wait for the arduino app to compile the sketch and verify whether the coding entered is right or wrong So our robot is already detached with the computer after the coding has been transmitted to the Arduino board. Now we'll fix this Bluetooth module with the robot. So first what we'll do, we'll take the help of four jumper wires. So these are four male to female jumper wires. One side is male, other side is female. So let us connect. So we can see that this module contains all the male pins so we'll connect the female ends of the jumper wires so we'll connect it to four four of the pins so what are they we'll connect to one to the rx okay next we'll connect another to TX 
another one will be connect to gnd which is the ground and then the last one will be connected to vcc which is the 5 volt <coughs> now these four ends will be connected to the arduino board let's see where the tx end of the module will be connected to 2 and the rx end of the module will be connected to 3 of the Ar arduino board so let us make the connection now the other two connections which are to be made are the ground and the 5 volt so ground is the purple wire which will go to the ground here and this brown one will go to the 5 volt which will give power to the bluetooth module so if we connect the battery to the arduino board then we will see that this has been connected so the bluetooth has got the power first of all go to google play store and type bluetooth rc controller you will see this app which comes first which has a logo of a car install this app in your mobile phone One of the important things which we have to do is to connect the Bluetooth module to the mobile phone. For that, we need to do pairing. So let us turn on the Bluetooth on mobile phone. And then we will search for available devices. So JDY31 SPP is the name of the Bluetooth module. Click here. It will start pairing. Now let us give the password or the code which is one two three four click on ok and then you will see it has been saved which means the pairing is completed you can see that the app has already been installed to the mobile phone now click open and then allow it to be connected to the bluetooth we will do you know that the bluetooth is already connected it has been paired so you click here and then go to the first option from there you select the name of the bluetooth which is the jdy31 spp click on this and you'll see the green light indicates that the bluetooth has been connected to this app now with the help of this you can run the car it's time to see our car in action so let it move forward you see it's going forward now the car will run backwards it will now move to the left side yes and now it will move to the right side and again it will move all the way forward Those who are new to this channel and watching my video for the first time must be wondering from where will you get all the robotics components together. But don't worry, I have a solution for you. Log into the Sparklebox website and order their robotics DIY kit 1 and 2. The link of the kits is given in the description box below. So hurry up and go to the Sparklebox website to order your kit. If you learned something from today's session, show some love by hitting the like button, subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon to get the latest notifications and updates about the upcoming episodes. Signing off for today, stay happy, stay curious, bye bye.